Beverages. About. These are things that we are about. We, are about. we should start a website. That's what we said about. Oh God. Oh, wow. Going on eight years ago. Going on eight years ago. I know. We planned for internet fame, and what we got was a lot of good conversation and uh, <laughs> well, deli delicious, fame, delicious drinks. About, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None of those things. We we've appreciate all of our followers. So please, <laughs> do not, we are not disparaging. Uh, so I guess we're famous in a very small circle. We're famous enough, or uh, people like us enough, that they give us free beer. That's true. And, uh, we and more people to do that, <laughs> exactly. We're, we're happy with one person. We're happy with one person or the few. We've had a yes, few. That's true. We've, like yeah. we've had uh, several few. Some sours have been shared with us by uh, one of our many Erics. Yes. <laughs> we've had a lot of good things like that. But now we've got uh, many beers and a couple different or one other different thing from the East Coast, thanks to uh, Charlie, good friend of the show. And so we are. Moving on with this Give It a Shot, I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith, and we're about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Harpoon Take 5 Session IPA. Um, the Harpoon is a... Uh, brewery. <laughs> singing. It's another brewery out of Boston. <laughs> There's a little Boston reference there, uh, Boston the band reference. But uh, yeah, they're uh, out of Boston. <laughs> Uh, and uh, oh God, so many things just churned in my head. Did no different songs. Like no, I shouldn't. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> there was too many all at once. Well, like, right now, we're calling. I, I think we should be calling this our East Coast Swing. And I, so I keep thinking of Motown Philly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're, they're back again. <laughs> um, so, anyways, back. Yes. Yeah, so, so this is their uh, Take Five Session IPA. Comes in at uh, four point three percent alcohol, which is that's what you're looking for. for yeah. The session. Uh, Depends on how experienced a drinker you are, we always say. Yeah. <laughs> like for me, a session is six or less. So, yeah. But the industry standard is five. Yes, uh, give or take. Give or take. And, uh, <laughs> um, and actually, a um, friend of the show, Eric Green from Dragoon, who now owns, well, one of the three owners of Dragoon Brewing, uh, he actually worked at Harpoon yeah. for a short period of time. Yeah, I don't know if it was kind of a, it was kind of like an internship thing or whatever or something like that. But yeah, he's so he's very familiar with them. Back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah, I think this is actually newer than his stint there. I think uh, this yeah, was said 2010. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That they started working on this, figuring out what to put in yeah. there, and uh, this is what they've come up with. 43 IBUs, so not too bad for a session. That kind of makes me happy. And I think the Amarillo... Oh, actually, no. Ten, okay, they brewed it on the 10-barrel system in oh. 2014. Okay, well, so that's definitely. The 10 oh, okay. From. So, yes. So, 2014, they started. They're using some Amarillo hops, I believe. Citra, maybe? What was in there? Citra... Cinco and Amarillo. Okay. And a malt profile from a combination of Pale Vienna, Carapils, and English Amber malts. English Amber? I don't know what That's I mean. my stage name. English they can't be taking these things away from me. Or crispy sugar. <laughs> crispy sugar. <laughs> English amber. Uh, I kind of like English amber. <laughs> That's pretty. English amber. English amber. Uh, but uh, we are not getting amber in color at all from this one, though. No. This is what I thought the yingling was going to look like. Yeah, I kind of did, too. Why, even though it said amber on the can. So that was our bad. My bad. Mm -mm. A lot of good. I, just, I think of the beach when I see this for some reason. Oh. I don't know why. Yours is a little clearer than mine. I think oh, I got yeah. the I got the back end of it. Okay. But still, uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. Hey, oh, that's, hey <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's good carbonation going there as well. That's yeah. almost champagney kind of yeah, really quite a bit. Cool, a light fluffy head. It is a light fluffy head from English amber. <laughs> <laughs> English, <laughs> English fluffer. English amber will always provide you with light fluff. Oh, Wait, no, <laughs> no, no, not at no, all. She won't. Ooh. <laughs> we both got excited. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Am I smelling English? Wait, no. <laughs> not, not the good. dank. Mo, not the dank. Oh, no, Ooh, that is good. There's a little pine, a little... Yeah, definitely get, definitely get pine. Almost a little onion ring. Little hint of little that. little hint of onion for me, like yeah. something like not in a bad way. I don't mind. Like I said, sometimes pine yeah, what will kind of go that way because it's not the strong like wintergreen pine. Like you right. know, pine like true pine almost kind of wintergreeny. Like that kind of yeah. gets almost kind of that resinous. refreshing. Yeah, resinous or whatever. This is kind of a little in between, like some it's sort of savory, well savory. It's a savory piney kind of thing. And yeah, and a little bit of fruit. That's really that's that's got a great aroma to it. That's delicious. Oh, Charlie, you brought us a good one. I hope. Yes. Well, at least so far. If we stopped right now. We should stop right now. <laughs> no. Walk away. 
it's definitely a notch down from the aroma for me, but it's still, it's still very yeah, good. Yeah, it's a nice solid. It's uh, The flavor profile is more toward, like you said, malty, a uh, little sour, like kind of malty sour, um, little lemon kind of fruit or something in there, whereas the, yeah, aroma is a little bit disparate from that. But you could tell kind of from reading uh, on their website, which we'll have a link to it, about beverages.com, that seems to be kind of what they were going for. They wanted a lot of the highs and, right. and uh, you know, big aromatic character, but then when you're making a session, usually people want to drink three, four, five of them, eight of them, ten, whatever, case. Yeah. I don't know what the, how big <laughs> they sell these in. Um, but, you know, that's kind of what then people want is that if it was super heavy, you could only drink one, and that's kind of not really a session, whether the alcohol is or isn't at below 5%. So, I, I, like I said, I, I honestly think that's that's pretty tasty. For that's a session good. IPA, like that's... The, the retro nasal sort of finish there, mm -hmm. very nice. This makes uh, me think like of, that. like, uh, like when we do usually around your birthday and stuff like that, when we were out by the pool and kind of... Like, this would be the kind of beer I'd want to have there, where right. it's pretty clean, right. uh, good, the some good, some jack. good, yeah, some good flavor to it. Yeah, like the Easy Jack the or easy something like that. Some ballast point. Don't, yeah, or uh, not saying these are. This is like those. No, it's in that it's in that wheelhouse of like those are the beers I think of where it's like, I don't go to beer necessarily to be refreshed because that should be water, <laughs> you know. But if you're getting in that mode and you know, like I said, then that's kind of what you want. Something like yeah. oh, I can, you know, take a couple of good you know swigs of this, but especially with this, getting a lot of really great aroma. So no, I think this is really good beer. It's a really good session IPA. Very good. And if you're looking for more good sessionable IPAs, we've had a lot of them. Yeah. And you can find those in the archives at aboutbeverages.com. Or possibly even if you are watching this on YouTube, just go through our uh, channel history. And I'm sure you'll find uh, several other beer options that we have, that we have tried along the way. And, uh, but if you are at the website... Definitely uh, click on the links. Check out the other stuff that we have there. We've got links to our Twitter feed. We're going to have uh, our usual uh, tasting notes along with where they hit on our recommendation scale. All that stuff found only at the website. And unfortunately, this is found mostly on the East Coast. Yes, I have never seen Harpoon. Yeah. I have never seen Harpoon on this side of the Mississippi. So, But you are know. listening to and watching us with that in mind. We have said that these are... Primarily East Coast things. So, hey, when you're planning your next, if you're planning a trip, or if you find yourself, or if you are on the East Coast, or if you I mean, we know people in we know people in uh, Washington D.C. We know people in Maryland. That's true. We know we people do. all across the country. We do that's right. So, and they can send us more beer if they want as well. They could do that. Okay. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>